What's going on guys? Good day. Today we are in Marietta, Georgia about to check out this beauty. So it's Worrell Thomas, your favorite realtor service in the metro Atlanta area. Um, so I'm super excited about this one. This one is literally right up the street from where I live. Um, so we're on the west side of Cobb County, west side of Marietta. Um, this one is a ranch, three bedrooms, two bath, just over 2,100 square feet. Um, located in this neighborhood. So we're just going to pan around here so that we could take a look at uh, kind of what the neighborhood looked like. So we just had some rain that came through. Just a little shower. Cool down the place a little bit because you know how it gets here in Georgia. It can get very hot, muggy, um, humid, all the stuff that uh, don't really work for, you know, like your hair or just how you want to feel. So we're going to check it all the way out. There is a little surprise in the back that uh, I'm going to save for last, but I think it's a cool little feature on this house. Um, so we're going to walk through and see what's up. Just kind of give you a little close up of what the exterior look like. I don't know what color to call this. I mean, it's almost like a tannish salmon color. But it fits the house pretty good. You're gonna see some uh, some of the landscaping work throughout the exterior here, and there's a good bit of landscaping work in the um, the backyard as well. But let's go check it out. So walking up, it is pretty inviting. Um, you do got these two um, kind of statue structures here, and let's get inside. All right, so when you first walk in, you have your living room in front of you um, and with a fireplace as well. That is a gas fireplace. Just wanted to pan down on the floors though, because when you first walk in, you do have tile and that kind of leads to the right over here where your bedrooms are, pretty much your living quarters. Um, and then you have uh, this flooring here, which is not wood, some type of vinyl, but it's definitely not um, actual wood. So that's what you see in your dining room there. And then in the kitchen, it goes back to the tile. Um, so we'll check those out shortly. Behind here, that's actually part of inside of the house. I think it used to be outside and then they closed it in. And I think these actual window bays here were the actual windows for it. I just don't know if they were always curved or if that was a design element that was added after the fact. So here's the fireplace that I was talking about. Gas fireplace. And this theme with kind of this color here, uh, you're gonna see that throughout the house. But let's start with the bedrooms first. And then we'll make a ray around to the rest. And again, stay tuned because there is a little surprise in the backyard. I did want to mention that this is a family friendly neighborhood. And if you're worried about schools, uh, the elementary school is Bernie Elementary. The middle school is Smitha Elementary and the high school is Osborne. I'm sorry, the middle school is Smitha Middle School and then the high school is Osborne High School. Um, so here's one of your guest bedrooms. Again, this is three bedrooms, two full bathrooms. And this is one of those bedrooms. They could definitely get a queen size bed in here. It's not the biggest room in the world, but again, most likely kids will be in here. So um, up to a queen would probably fit pretty comfortably. Here's your closet, which is pretty standard. I just think it's pretty interesting. You got that trim piece going across here. A lot of times they leave those out of bedrooms, but um, it got that little bit of detail. Just get a closer look at the paint on the walls. And then again, carpet throughout the bedrooms. All right, so straight ahead is the primary suite, but we will get there in a second. We'll check out the other bedroom. Not a lot of razzle dazzle. It's pretty much like the other one. Probably a tiny bit smaller, and I could be wrong, a tiny bit smaller, but you'd, you could get a queen in here too. It'll be a little tight. But it all depends on how you want to sleep, you know? Do you want to sleep like royalty? That's a possibility. Or if you don't and want to get a couple more things in here, that's fine. This room, I feel, could have actually been bigger. And we'll see. I'll show you um, what's behind this wall here. 
Um, so it looks like this room sacrificed a little bit uh, for what's in the primary bedroom. And again, we'll check that out shortly. Before we get to the primary, we do have your guest restroom here. You do got a standing shower. Again, it's this tile on the ground. There's your vanity. Um, I want to say that at least the shower part was upgraded at some point. And I say that because typically in these houses, especially this age, unless it was like custom built, there would be a tub right there. And then the tiling itself looks a lot newer, especially as well as that um, the basin on the bottom there too. So that's what makes me think that that was uh, upgraded at some point. So now we are in the owner suite. I do apologize for the lighting. This is one of those rooms where there's no central light up there. Um, you do got a bunch of switches over here and I'm sure if you plug in a lamp, one of these switches control the outlets uh, throughout. Hopefully you can get a good understanding of the size of the uh, owner suite. It is a decent size, um, I should say primary bedroom. There you go. And you might see some um, things on the ground that looks like stains, but they're really just indentations from, I, I'm assuming the bed was right there. And then um, they had some type of uh, furniture right here as well. So overall the carpet is in decent condition. And this is what I was talking about in the other room where there could have actually been more, that room could have been bigger. Um, so this owner suite or the primary bedroom have like a loft or recreational room, as you can say. Um, so I would imagine that, you know, there was a TV and a little couch in here. Um, if you're a workout freak, then I can see a Peloton or, uh, making a small gym in here as well. So that's pretty cool. Nice little add on feature. And then it has um, kind of the tray ceiling in here too. So it's interesting that they added that detail um, in here. I mean, it, you typically see tray ceilings in a um, tray or beveled, whatever you want to call it, uh, in, in primary suites, but to see them on both sides. And again, sorry, it's so hard to see in here. There's just no actual light. All right. Now for the primary bathroom, you do have a stand-in shower right here. Um, and I'm glad it's decently sized in a lot of houses, a lot of older houses that I've been seeing, the standing shower is so small. It's like you have no space to really move around and, you know, I can get claustrophobic pretty easily. So it's good to kind of see, um, this is a little bit bigger. And again, with this theme of this tile, I know there's a name for it and I just don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, but that's kind of the tile going on the floor too, throughout here. So you got your standing shower, you do got a tub with this window and these um, nice blinds to be able to provide some privacy. Double vanity. And I wanna say this is um, a granite countertop. Could be wrong on that, but you do got a double vanity as well. Here is your water closet. It does not have a door, but it has its own little section as well. Up top here, you have like a little cutout where you can put some you know, decoration, some art pieces in the bathroom if need be. And uh, of course, I'm sure what all the uh, the wives are looking for is uh, what's the closet space like? So there we go. You can actually walk in here. It does cut back here a little bit. Um, so not a bad closet for the size house. Again, this is just a little bit over 2,100 square feet. All right, so we're all done with the interior. Well, this side, the living quarters. So we'll check out the rest of the house. Get a closer look at the kitchen. Um, and before we go into the kitchen, to the left here, you have your laundry room. So it's really kind of like a walkthrough to your garage. But you do have your, your laundry room, washer and dryer over here. Pretty straightforward. All right, and then your garage too. So again, um, pretty straightforward garage, two car garage, 
single door. You do have, so I'm not sure if this was for an electric vehicle, but typically when you see these in a home, in the garage, uh, it is for electric vehicle. Um, so for my Tesla, I do have this plug at my house too. And we're starting to see that a lot more um, as more people adopt electric cars. And we're actually seeing a lot of new construction just going ahead and building them and adding those outlets in there so that you can have a place to charge. There's that. So we'll just take another look at the living room again. You do have vaulted ceilings, which makes it feel a lot bigger in here. To your left, you have your formal dining. This is where you're gonna be entertaining everybody for Thanksgiving and uh, other holidays and events where you have a lot of friends and family over. So you get some nice uh, molding on the bottom and trim. Typical, uh, you see this quite a bit in um, formal dining rooms. And one thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people aren't needing the formal dining room and the um, kind of like the breakfast nook too. It's either one or the other. And then they're using kind of one of the spaces as additional um, recreation space, maybe for the kids to play. Sometimes they're turning it into a bedroom. Just nowadays, people are needing more out of their houses and they're getting very creative with it because home values and home prices have been going up. So some people have been getting creative with what they're doing with the space in their home. So here's the kitchen. Again, see the tile going throughout. Kind of goes with the overall vibe. And then again, you see this tile and backsplash going through. And like I said, from the beginning, it just pretty much matches that same tile that you see that's on the fireplace. So here's a closer look at the cabinets. As far as the cabinet shapes, um, it's pretty, pretty good shape. Um, so a lot of people are painting their cabinets nowadays if you don't want the wood look. And if you paint it, you know, it still has somewhat of a modern feel to it as well. So there's a look at the cabinets and then the appliances as well. So it looks like you got um, some stainless steel mixed with the black here. You do got a gas stove, an oven, this is KitchenAid, and then uh, your refrigerator as well, Whirlpool refrigerator. And that's pretty much your kitchen. So you do have a breakfast bar. You could put a couple stools under there and just eat right here. Oh, and then of course, we gotta check out the pantry. Pantry is not the biggest in the world but got a lot of shelving in there, especially this door shelving. That's uh, That actually really helps out a lot. And then you got some more shelving over here next to the refrigerator as well. Look at that. You got some pullouts. And that goes in slowly. Look at that. Boom, that's a nice plus to have. So, oops, hit my camera there. So if you have a problem with how small the pantry is, you have a lot of extra space here. Now this you don't see a lot. All right, so here's that other breakfast area, eating area that I was talking about. But again, a lot of people aren't really utilizing both spaces so you can get creative with these spaces. That's it, and we'll just stand from here looking as well. Get you a good look at the kitchen. See some of this pendant lighting that'll come with it. Man, it's just really dark over there. It would be nice to have a light coming from the fan, but that's not a hard change at all. And the fireplace again. All right, so as we round up the tour, you might have seen the surprise that I was talking about outside, but if not yet, then you'd be presently surprised. So I believe this used to be outside and just by looking at the, the just the size of this opening right here and kind of the jam, I think it really was outside. Um, and then this used to be like a patio, maybe covered area on the house. So they went ahead and um, 
added some glass up there, closed it in, and now you have additional square footage inside of the house. So this can be like another, you know, recreational space, place to hang out. They got the treadmill here. Um, so this could be a workout room for them as well. And you just pretty much have free range of what you want to do with this space. But it feels just like part of the house. So, um, and it's pretty open, so it should feel like part of the house. So the temperature is not different in here, um, just a little bit different flooring and it does slope slight, uh, slightly in here. But again, if this was outside, that's purposeful so that water, when it rains, doesn't sit up here and then it just um, kind of slide down this way to, from left to right. All right. So for the surprise that I've been trying to hold out on, but some of y'all might have seen it and you could probably hear it now, but there's a whole koi pond here. And yes, there's fish in there. And when I tell you that they are huge, they are huge. But we're gonna look at that in a second. Let me stand off to the side so you can actually hear me talk about the backyard and the landscape in a little bit. And then we'll zoom in on the koi pond. So here we are in the backyard again. And I like this house because they did very well with the landscaping. So you got a little area up top there that you could hang out. We got the koi pond here that you could just take a look at. Um, they've created this walkway from the front of the house all the way to the back. And again, just this nice little area itself. You can imagine coming home from a long day of work and just taking advantage of the tranquility of the water and the waterfall falling into the koi pond and then just looking at these huge fish. Look at them. Huge. And they move fast too. So we could walk on this side too and just get a good bit of look at the landscaping again. Really is a beautiful space. So that about wraps up the tour. And this is a ranch house. Um, and if you know how it goes, ranches are hard to come by. Ranches speak to a wide variety of people, whether you are a, like especially for this house, whether you are, um, you know, first time home buyer, just starting a family. Um, if you have a couple kids, that works too. Um, you know, if you're looking to downsize or if you're, you know, older, um, with this just being one level, this is uh, very easy to get around. Beautiful house. So in regards to things to do around here, you do have the Silver Comet Trail. My wife and I uh, frequent that trail quite a bit. It's only a few minutes up the street. Nice um, outdoor type vibe. You're not too far from like Kennesaw Mountain and the Kennesaw Mountain Trails as well. Um, you're about 15 minutes from the Battery, which is where the Braves play. You got a whole bunch of places to eat, um, places to shop, hang out, have fun. Of course, grocery stores are all around here. Um, everyone that you could think of, um, Kroger's not too far away, Publix not too far away. You have Walmart's not too far away. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that you would need. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it with the tour of this house. If you are interested in taking a look, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, if you know anybody who is interested, please send them this video. If they need any other details or anything like that, I am here to help them. But that wraps up the tour. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. And of course, whoop, that's lightning. So let me go back inside. And of course, stay tuned so I can make your next move your best move.